thanks for coming and nice to see so many familiar faces. I'll be doing a short talk for you today about the importance of sales and selection tool and how they work and also how we from Johnson Controls set up our system and how we have a feedback loop. <coughs> so real quick, who am I and why am I standing here today? I'm product manager at Sable for sales tools, heat exchangers and vessels. I've been with Johnson Controls since 2013. And throughout that period of time, I've been working with simulations, configurations, and just general calculations of our systems and heat pumps. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with Johnson Controls, um, we are a large supplier into the OMA industry, um, into almost all forms of industries and vertical sectors. And our main products are heat pumps, refrigeration systems, and the control systems for these. So the first question is, why do we need sales tools and why are they important? It's because our product in this industry are highly complex and they are not easy to configure. So we need a platform that creates transparency where we are sure that the calculation we have done and the configuration we have done actually meets the requirements. We need something that makes it simple to configure these complex products. We need something that provides quality and consistency so that we are sure we get the same configuration each time and that you as a customer have confidence. Then we also need it to estimate our, let's say, first cost of a product and also the total cost of ownership because the products we sell have a 50-year lifespan, so it's important both to know first cost, but also total cost of ownership. And then the, the final point is that it's a storefront for the products we sell under the Sable brand. And together, all this sort of combines into what we call, see if we can get this to work, into sales tools or quoting pricing configuration tools. So this is the Sable portfolio of products. You can see the man here in the middle is, is slightly confused because there are so many products to select from. And the only way for us to make sure that you actually know how to navigate our portfolio of products is through sales and selection tool. So you can see here we will have one point of entry, our sales and selection portfolio of tools, allowing you to figure out with the demand you have for your products, do you need a single compressor or do you need a chill pack application or heat pump application? the tool will guide you to the solution you will need. And this sort of avoids the need for highly exp expert knowledge because you can actually use the tool to put in your demands and then we will configure a product that suits your demand and need. <coughs> Just here as an example, we have a client with a demand and some temperature requirements and legal requirements and some pressure drop requirements on the secondary side. And first we want to show you how we do it in Comp1, our current generation of sales tools. This is what we do. I'll just go here. So you can actually see that you can put in your demands from a capacity perspective, temperature perspective. So the, the demands you have to the product, not the technical demands, but the temperature and flow and temperature requirements. Put them in and let the tools do the work. Once you have found something where you think, OK, this matches my demand, you can get a printout, and you can actually also get a complete 3D rendering and a price. So already before you have placed an order, you'll have a really good idea of the physical size, the COP value, and the price. So this gives you confidence in what you're buying. You know upfront what it is. And when you have to do your quotation, you can actually see everything, including size and 3D rendering, if you have to put it into your system. Next up, we have our newest generation of tool um, COM2. Naming is not our strong side, so we have COM1 and COM2. But it's the same approach. We're looking into what is the demand from an installation point of view rather than a technical point of view. You put in the value, you let the program do the work. COM2 is set up to search through the entire Sable catalog of products saying which product meets your demand. Again, allowing you to compare multiple different options, looking at the key values, saying what do you actually need from a COP capacity perspective. Reviewing the, well, the technical data, temperature, pressures, 
allowing you to see what's going on and creating a report, again, and also creating a drawing so you can see what you're buying before you actually bought it. So how do we make these tools and how are they updated? <clears throat> so every time we go to market with a new product, we do go through these steps. We take and test the single components in our RD lab and we create math mathematical models. Or we work together with our suppliers to have tools which we integrate so they have the mathematical models. And then we test the complete assembly as well in our RD lab to figure out how does this perform when we put it together. We put this into our models and then we release to market. Once the product is released to market, we do this continuous integration and continuous updates where we do all the products are tested in what we call end of line. So all chillers and heat pumps are factory tested, full scale tested. This data is, is feeded back into our products in product enhancement. We also do market feedback saying how does this product actually perform in a client installed base. And all this knowledge we put into our sales and selection tools. So it's something that we constantly update based on performance and also how lifetime performance is of the given products. So this is actually the last slide for me. It's a bit quick, but just sort of glimpse into where did we start and where are we heading. <coughs> Comp1, uh, our current tool, has 40 years. It's been in the market for 40 years. But before that, we used paper and briefcases. Then we had a small DOS program. We moved into a Windows-based application. We've been there for 40 years now. Now we have Com2, a cloud-based system. And we see a, a clear trend, both from ourselves, but also from our suppliers, that we are moving into a cloud-based environment where everything is connected, similar to what we know from the industry sector, that we are going into sector coupling. This also applies to software. So everything is getting connected, both physically, but also digitally. And that's something which we try to accomplish as well with our sales tool, providing a digital representation of the product you're buying, so you have confidence before you have bought anything. And just if you want to know more, you can come visit us at our booth. Or we also have these additional talks uh, regarding heat pumps and chillers and our products in general. That's it for me. So there should be ample time for questions. And if you have anything to come up with, you can also come by the booth. Is there any questions? Yeah. The tool, um, if we go back, good question. So COM1 is an offline tool running locally on your PC. You can request it through your normal Johnson Controls contact person. COM2 is a hybrid application where it's a localized client and an online calculation server that will be released externally after Christmas. Again, you have to reach out to your localized Johnson Controls contact to get access to the tool.